Hey, this is Dr. Vince with the Living Pain-Free Method. I just wanted to quickly give you a little summation on a case that I just did in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. I just got back. This gentleman has been through almost 170 PT sessions. He spiral fractured his lower right leg and I got the chance to review some of his case notes and it was just a a situation where the physical therapists were really focusing on his knee and he was still complaining about foot pain. He was unable to move his big toe. Uh, ankle range of motion was really restricted. So I got, <clears throat> I got called into the case and it was really interesting because I found that the physical therapists were only focusing on the knee. Now here's the key to this. The knee is a dumb joint. It does what the ankle and the hip tell it to do. So when a person is complaining about knee pain, gosh, that's the symptom, right? So ankle range of motion is limited. Maybe the hips have gotten weak over the course of the uh, healing time. So I get to this guy and we find that He's got very little circulation because of all the scarring from the surgery that he had. And the big caveat for him was that he couldn't actually move the big toe. That's huge. If you can't use your big toe, all of the kin kinematics, all of the body motion from foot up is going to be altered. You, you cannot start walking if that big toe is a trouble. So that was first and foremost, restoring toe function. Sounds crazy, right? Little toe. But here's the thing. The toe and the thumb are what make us special. Otherwise, we're kind of like ape, right? Uh, so we got to get the big toe working. So what do we do? Hot pack, moist heat, get that tissue with some blood flow and then start just gliding that ankle joint, get all the junk out of it. So the body basically starts pushing the lymph, all the healing properties get stuck in that lower leg because the circulation, if the toe and the ankle aren't working, circulation relies on the calf muscle to actually pull the vascularity back out of it, the, the blood flow out of that lower limb. So if he can't use the ankle, the calf isn't working. Calf is your primary pump. So first and foremost, <laughs> excuse me, big toe has to work. Then ankle has to work. So a really quick and easy for him, calf raises. We need to do calf raises, get the that calf pumping so that the blood flow can return up into the knee, into the hip, where then the lymph system can help with the healing process. So I spent two days with this gentleman, helped the massage therapist understand what needed to happen. And at the end of the two days, big toe is working, teach him a little bit about how to activate the foot sole and basically restoration of tissue health. So gentle gliding, pushing the junk, this kind of like fluid that turns into rubber cement and it really restricts motion. So get that going and then simple scar mobilization. This guy was under the impression from the doctors and the physical therapists that he needed to use the cane, that he basically was still in trouble. And at the end of the day, he was healed. Like he's got a titanium shaft in his tibia. It's stronger than his left side. So what he needed was someone to say, get going. I kind of said to him, look, if you were a caveman, you can't spend much time in that cave. The saber toothed tiger is going to eat you. So it's time to start hunting and gathering again. And, and literally you think about it this way. Movement is healing. So as soon as he's able to weight bear, he needs to be out and about walking and yeah, it hurts. I get it. There's a big difference between hurt and pain. Part of healing is hurt. 
you got to get back up through the threshold into functional activity. And yeah, it does. It doesn't feel good. You got to break that joint free. You got to use it. Very calculated steps, that kind of thing. So I just wanted to kind of relay this crazy little story because there's probably a lot of people out there that fall under this assumption that I'm injured, I can't use the limb. As long as the x-ray shows that the, the bone is healed, you gotta start weight bearing, you gotta start using it. It's super, super easy to kind of sit in the house, sit in the chair, kind of suck your thumb. And that's not how the human movement system works. You gotta get going. So at the end of the day, if you know somebody or if it's you and you wanna talk about where you're at in your therapy, in your care, give me a call, give me a shout. This is Dr. Vince at the Living Pain-Free Method. You can get a hold of me at www.livingpainfreemethod.com or help at lpfmethod.com. I'm happy to talk with you. Have a great day.